Okay, there are only a few cars in this game. This is probably the worst one. It's called American Muscle. Most basic one here. This is American Sedan. It's the it's my favorite one because it's the heaviest. This is European. It's probably my least favorite because it's so light and it takes the beauty of crashing cars out of the game. This is the fastest car in the game. Also, it seems to be in the worst condition. Yeah. Okay, now I've tuned my car a little bit more. And I'll just show you the paint jobs. This is a paint job. I'm not going to show you all of them because it's a little slow. And there are no apparent tire options yet. Now, let's go out for a race. I've put on racing suspension. So I'll go on to... Actually, no, I'll change to Rally. Now, this is probably the best one. Actually, it's definitely the best one. Now, let's not put in too many opponents or you're just going to get stuck somewhere. Nice loading screens and stuff. I would, I would actually be fine with this game. Uh, and I do plan on buying it. I would be I would be fine with this game if they left it as it was and added more cars and well maybe fix fix the performance. But it's just my computer. Good parts can't run. This is Demolition Derby. It's another game mode. I meant to select the track, but I guess I'll just give you a look around it, of it. Uh, basically, bots will just come at you, and you can base just do infinite burnouts. This this is like a fun version. Skill not needed. But I think car damage is toned down on this. Unless of course you're the European car where basically everything sucks. Takedowns in if you've probably noticed by now, in the top left there's a thing called takedowns. It shows you how many takedowns you've had. Takedowns basically means how many kills, car kills, knockouts, whatever the hell you want to call it. Whatever. And uh, another thing about this game is when you crash cars, the driver gets deformed. That's not a problem to me because right now I'm just... Well, my sides are basically not dead. I'm at critical damage now, so I should run into people backwards. Also, this game does not have a map. Let's just get through this one. Now, I'm boxed in right now. But it doesn't matter, this isn't going to last much longer with critical damage. This this is, um, basically it's a upgraded version of the Flat Out series. Oh crap. Yeah, that that's totally critical damage. But I can't move, so... Yeah, I guess that's enough of this. Now I'll show you another race, but this time on an off-road track. Because off-road tracks are the beauty of this game. Now let's go into the gravel track. This is my favorite. I'm not really sure if this game is a damage simulator or a game because, <laughs> yeah, well, it's more like a damage simulator to me. There's no point, there's no real goal in this game. Though it, it does, with the buttons that are there, it does seem like it's going to be a career mode. Now let's get rolling. Now 
wrecked. On tracks like these, European cars usually win, but not unless you can squash them first. Also, I have the most fully upgraded car because I suck at this game. Oh, these things are pretty much unbreakable. Now, when this happens, basically, you're going to stay in this position for like half the race. Oh, my God. Oh, almost thought I wasn't going to live through that one. You can do everything Top Gear does in this game. Well, with no licensed cars. The Bugbear guys never license cars. Oh crap. That is a bad crash. Now you can just click reset card anytime you want. It saves you the time of turning around. And I think I have lost a wheel or something because I'm handling like I did. Well, can barely turn, so let's just consider this race lost. Now, I'll show you another map. I'll just go through all the maps if, since I have nothing really to talk about. Now this is the sand pit race. It's probably my favorite too, but there's there's another sand pit one called Sand Pit 2. It's not fully textured yet, but it is probably my favorite map. Because the off-road ones are best. Tarmac ones are good, but they don't really, well, they don't have that many jumps or like turns or Yeah, and they're really short. Now this is a fun map. It's easy to get cra it's easy to crash in here I think. But I probably just suck. Now if you're in the front, don't do what I just did. If you ever slow down, they're gonna hit you. And don't focus the game on hitting other people, just drive. Your accidental bumps will already take care of them. Also, never go around corners normally. Just drift around them. Oh, crap. I did not see that coming. Okay, sometimes the tires kind of get all in the way and you don't know where you're going. And, uh, yeah, disaster, blah, blah, blah. But one day they might fix the drivers. One day. Now you don't want to run into those. But you also don't want to do that. Reset. Also resetting if you're in the middle is a really bad idea. Because you'll get hit really hard. Just hope that there's a European car behind you. Now, I have not taken much damage, not non-visually. See, you can drift around the corners instead of just driving around them. It saves you a bit of time. Oh, and you can basically drift forever in this game. This game has really slidey drifting. Oh crap, I really hate this turn. Reset. I always lose a couple of positions and me and wheels here. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to drift too sharply, but you still probably will save time if you rather than going slowly around the corner.
Oh crap. Yeah, I really suck at driving. But my gut says this game will be pretty freaking famous. Because this is a great game. But uh, once you start taking damage, this this part gets screwed up a lot. This camera angle just becomes hell. Also, almost everything around you is breakable, which is really, f which is actually really good, because it does add more to the immersion of the game. And I'm not gonna really survive six laps in this map, probably. Yeah, it's just fun to go through the tires, but yeah, tires actually do do damage in this game. Yeah, I guess since I don't have much to talk about, I'll just end my video here.